Okay, this is the engine compartment of a uh, Chevy Nova, a big block car. Uh, this guy is a, uh, says 396, so we don't know the actual displacement. All we know is it's a big block Chevy. It could be a 396, it could be a 427, who knows. But it, uh, uh, it definitely has a nice sound to it. Uh, someone's put a little bit of cam in it. It almost sounds like a 375, honestly, when you light it up. Or a 427, it's a, it's a good sounding engine. Um, it has an Offenhauser aluminum uh, intake on it, single plane. The correct style valve pan covers for this engine for the uh, um, era. 14 inch chrome air cleaner, just the way it should be. It says 396, 350 horsepower. Has a dual feed Holly with a chrome line on it. It has power steering, it has power disc brakes. A new dual stage master cylinder with a proportioning valve in the front here. A uh, new alternator, an Optima battery. <clears throat> Cast iron exhaust manifolds that are high temp coated. They uh, appear to be pa painted with that uh, high temp uh, uh, finish that uh, stays on there for quite some time. New stainless steel brake lines in the front. Correct fan shroud for this guy. It has a seven blade fixed fan on it. Uh, not a flex fan, but a seven blade fixed one. So you know it's going to move a lot of air for you. Um, heavy duty radiator that would have come with this guy from the factory. There's no leaks whatsoever evident on the top of this motor. Not the valve pan covers or the intake or the timing chain cover either. Everything appears to be tight, at least at this point. Um, standard front suspension on this cast iron, as I said, exhaust manifolds that go into the standard uh, header pipes that came with this vehicle. Correct style hoses, top and bottom for this guy. Uh, the inner fender panels are nice, uh, semi-flat black, flat black, just the way they would have been from the factory. Washer bottle still intact, and the washer actually hooked up too from what I can see. <laughs> That's unusual. Header panel appears to be totally undisrupted. It doesn't appear to have ever been replaced or uh, suffered any trauma whatsoever through the years. Um, under hood area, nice and clean everywhere inside. There's no uh, evidence of rust ever uh, present in the vehicle. It has the uh, insulation that's stuck inside the uh, um, enclosures uh, and the under hood side. Um, has an HEI distributor in it, a newer style with high silicon plug wires on it also. So it has a little bit of uh, monitor modern equipment on it, but yet it still retains a lot of its originality looks-wise. When you pop this guy open, the first thing you look at, it looks like a 375, 396 in this car. So, uh, it's making a lot of horsepower. It has a nice sound to it. Uh, we don't know the horsepower actually, but it's substantial. And uh, the car's just a nice car under the hood here. It, it, it presents itself as a nice original uh, uh, big block Chevy Nova. So we're going to go around the rest of it and see what we can show you there. Hi, you're in Daytona Beach, Florida at Hanksters. And uh, our guest today is a, another black Chevy Nova. We keep going through these guys as fast as we can get them. But uh, this one is a big block car. It's a uh, Chevy Nova. It's in exemplary condition. And uh, we're going to go over it and show you everything we can on it. Again, the paint on this car is not driver quality, and it is certainly nothing like the factory put on it. This stuff is a foot deep. Uh, it's just as nice a finish as you could ever hope to find on one of these cars. Um, fitment of the hood, you can see clean up to the collar area, to the fender, to the hood. Just as nice a gap as you want, about an eighth of an inch the whole way around. SS style hood with the little power bulges there. Same thing on this side. See, there's an eighth of an inch the whole way around it, and the fitment to the to the fender, to the hood, it's just as sweet as can be. Um, <clears throat> trim around the uh, nose of this. The reason I rub my hands on this, just looking at this, you'd never see any defects in it, but if you rub your fingers across it, you'll feel if there's any deviation or dents or, or any irregularities, and I feel absolutely none. This area here is usually deteriorated somewhat. This chrome is usually have, has a whole bunch of patina on it. This has none. And also this area back here where it's black, usually that is blown off from people pressure washing it through the years. It has a uh, custom grill in it. This did not come with a uh, billet aluminum grill, and it feels like an aluminum grill as opposed to plastic. It uh, has SS designation in the front. 
Again, this side is the same as the other side. There's no deterioration whatsoever. Headlight buckets and trim around them. Just as nice as you could ever hope to find. That is just as nice and spot on as you could ever hope to find one. Okay, trim. And that bumper is absolutely spot on. There's no, there's a fingerprint. It's not mine, I didn't get there yet. Um, chrome on the front of the bumper is just as fresh as you'd ever hope to find. No idiot has put his feet up on it through the years so that um, there's any scratches or scrapes. There's absolutely none. Bumperettes, which were an option on this vehicle back in that era, uh, are on the vehicle and the rubber on them is just as fresh and new as you could ever hope to find. No dense marks whatsoever on it. Chrome on the front bumper, uh, the face of it. Uh, there's no chips or marks or anything from stones being thrown up through the years or on the uh, uh, front area that I was trying to find uh, irregularities in. There's absolutely nothing on it. It's just as straight and nice and true as you could ever hope to find. Amber marking lights for the parking lamps and uh, they're just as fresh and sweet as you could ever hope to find. The front end of this car is spot on. There is not one minute little uh, deficiency in it. There's not an imperfection that we could detect. Absolutely none. And the paint on this thing is literally, it, it appears to be a foot deep. It looks like you could dive into it. Let's go down the driver's side, see if we can show you there. Okay, driver's side, 396 designation, side marker lamp, no patina, nice clear lens. Look at the fin of this thing. Unbelievable. Look. Our gills just as nice as can be. Nova designation. Trim around the front window. Absolutely no marks whatsoever. Correct arms and correct blades on this guy too. Vin number nice and legible and nice and clean where the uh, metal part of the dash transitions to the base of the windshield just as clean and clear as it was in 1970 whatever uh, when this car was produced. Uh, the the um, dash pad, same way on top, there's no deviations, no warpage, and certainly no cracks whatsoever of it, but then just as nice as can be. Obviously we got a vinyl top on this guy, so uh, let's check to see. Really nice tight fitment, there's absolutely uh, no bubbles whatsoever in the drip row area or where it transitions down onto the base here. There's absolutely nothing. Everything is a nice tight fitment so that top is put on correctly. Uh, drip rail, no marks, no dinghies whatsoever, correct style GM mirror. We got one on each side on this one, that's a good addition there. Uh, no patina whatsoever on the uh, wing area, white whiskers, nice and fresh and clean and just the way they should be. Stone chip right here, we have the brush touch. <clears throat> Door handle is new, there's no marks whatsoever on it. I can't get over how some of these cars are fitting for us lately. Look at this. I'm lucky, I think out of the last three cars I only have one that I have to adjust the door on. Other than that, everything has been right on the money. Rocker panel molding, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. There's no heel marks or dents or anything whatsoever on it. No distortions. Um, just a nice, nice straight rocker panel molding. Um, there's tinted glass in the front. What did I say tinted? Yeah. Sunshade fake tinted glass in the front. But I think it's regular glass on the side. I can't really tell. Nah, I'm going to call this tinted too, but I think this is it. Maybe it is. It's hard to say. Um, There's no bondo in that baby. Side marker lamp in the back just as it was in the front. Just as nice a side as you could ever, ever hope to find. This is laser straight. Literally I know that I could take a laser and go right down the side of this car and there would not be one deviation, absolutely none. It looks like it has no doors on it from this point. I don't see doors till here. I can see a, where there's a door on the car now. Uh, appears to be 14 inch rally wheels. Um, K 
Kelsey Hayes made them. They were, uh, uh, I think GM called them road, uh, Mopar called them uh, Kelsey wheels, road wheels. Ford called them Magnum 500s. I think these were called uh, 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 SS tall wheels. So anyway, Kelsey Hayes wheel. Um, BFG tire, uh, everybody's choice of rubber on these cars through the years. So uh, right now that's a, it's a white litter tire that's a preference for everybody that's doing a muscle car. Fantastic front and back. One little, that's the only thing we could find so far is one little tiny, tiny, I'm going to have to just go like that with some black paint, that's it. Let's see what there is up back. Okay, rear tail section of our uh, little Chevy Nova. Again, I forgot to mention the hat rack, which you can see. Uh, the hat rack, shelf, tray is absolutely brand new. The speaker perforations are still all there. None of them have deteriorated. And all your trim around the uh, hat rack area um, and rear, rear glass, rear light area is just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. I don't see any marks or dents whatsoever. And eh, maybe a little one here. Let me, let me fill that. Nah, there's nothing. Thought I saw a reflection, but there's nothing there. Um, trim. Look at this. Eighth of an inch. How can it possibly get any better than that? There's an eighth of an inch gap the whole way around this vehicle on that deck lid. It can't fit any better than it does. It absolutely can not. Absolutely can. This, by the way, if you see something when I'm doing this, this is our lovely uh, pollen down here in Florida that you get to inhale all day long, too, on top of the heat. Um, trim around your taillight assemblies. Uh, the Argent, uh, Argent the uh, uh, anodized material around them is just as fresh and clean as can be. Same way across the back section here, which would be correct for an SS car. Same as this. SS designation. Bumper fitment. And that guy is spot on too. And guess what? We got bumperettes in the back too. Front and back. you believe that? Very seldom do you ever see that. But they're on front and back of this car. Adds a little bit of pizzazz to it. Again, no marks on this back bumper from someone putting their feet up on it or laying packages or whatever on it. Just as clean and clear as you'd ever hope to find. And also, across the back end, there's absolutely no dents uh, from people backing into it through the years. That bumper alignment is just absolutely spot on. It cannot be any better than it is. Uh, this is a very dramatic back end for this car. And so far, front, sides, and back, I found one stone chip about the size of a pencil point. We have one more side to go. Okay, our last side, passenger side. Again, side marker length, no patina whatsoever. Nice, clear, fresh looking lenses. Tin everywhere. No Bondo anywhere. Trim around here, same as the other side. Not a, absolutely nothing. Top the same way. There's absolutely no way that you could fit this vinyl top any better than it is on this vehicle. There's absolutely no looseness, no bubbles. Little tiny bit of a mark here. I can feel it, but I can't see it. What the heck? I don't know. Might be just a little bit of distortion there. Another little one here I can feel, but I can't see. Uh, certainly nothing that you would address. It, it, it's uh, again, the bow tie mirror to match the uh, driver's side, which is a great addition to these vehicles. Now, I didn't mention anything about the window fitment on the other side because the windows are encapsulated in the framework around the uh, rear of the uh, vehicle and the doors. The doors have a complete framework around them. The um, door handle on this side, just the same as the other side. Look at this. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. Again, no patina on the wing area. These are usually deteriorated some. This one is not. No marks on the, uh, no heel marks on the, uh, eh. One little tiny one here. A little bit of a heel mark there. Somebody had their high heel touch it, I guess. Uh, Nova designation, our gills just as nice as you'd ever want to find. And again, look at this fitment. This is totally insane. As nice as fitment as we've been getting on these cars. Really fantastic. 
Again, the trim around the front, the same as it was on the other side. 396 designation, back with our side marker lamp in amber, the way it should be. Laser straight on this side, one tiny stone chip out of this whole thing. And I'm not even going to mention the little marks that I can't see or I don't know, I can't find them now. Um, <clears throat> there, um, there's some in this school that you, it, it's not even worth even mentioning. But I did because I want to show you every little tiny imperfection that I could find. Even if it is small, you know, we're going to point it out to you. Uh, certainly nothing that you're going to go back and re readdress or something, you know, you're not going to paint a quarter panel or try to paint it for a pencil point uh, stone chip or you're not going to replace a, a rocker panel molding for one little tiny bit of someone's high heel that touched it on the way out. It's just not going to do it. Uh, <clears throat> this car is just as straight and nice a Chevy Nova as I've seen for a long time. It has bucket seats in it which we'll see in our interior presentation. The uh, exterior of this car is just exemplary. The paint on this car Absolutely, it looks like it's wet. It looks like you could dive right down into it. That's how deep and how lustrous it is. I didn't see uh, uh, any place where you could see any type of milkiness or any type of orange peel or anything. It's just glass smooth in its entirety. And I think the vinyl top adds a lot to it also. A lot of people like vinyl tops, a lot of guys don't. But sometimes you can have too much of one color and this kind of breaks it up and gives you that flat black look um, that, that helps to uh, break up the uh, the car looking just like one big lump of coal. Uh, it, it's a fantastic condition car. You're not going to find anything any better than this. This car is available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. and Hopefully everybody will swarm us and uh, come down and take a look at it. And uh, uh, in the process we can show you about 70 some other ones that we have in the building at this point in time. So uh, even though there's only 40 some up on the website, Devin and I have been trying to get them up, but we're selling them faster that we can uh, put them back up on the website is what's happening for us right now. But uh, we do have a pretty uh, diversified inventory and um, uh, anyone looking at the Hangster site should look at this guy if they're in the market for a Nova. I think we have four of them here right now. All different type characteristics of them, you know, they're all a little bit different. Uh, this one being more of an originality type look to it uh, with the wheels, with the interior, the vinyl top, everything and the SS uh, uh, trim package. Uh, it's a car that you really need to take a look at if you're in the market for a Nova. But if you want something a little bit different, we got three other ones just like it. So take a look at them too here at Hangster's Daytona. Okay, this is the interior of our Nova. Nice, tight new headliner in it. Sun visors, uh, there's no deterioration. Nice and resilient yet. No stitching coming loose on them. It has a conventional mirror, not a day night, but there's no milkiness whatsoever on the glass itself in the mirror that needs tightened that's flopping. Uh, we, have to do, <laughs> we have to do that. Um, dashboard, like I said from outside, it, it, there's resilience to it, no deviations, no warpage, um, no cracks, no splits, absolutely nothing, no deterioration whatsoever on it. Standard conventional speedometer, gas gauge, does have a quadrant of gauges, which is an option down here on the console. Uh, it has uh, oil pressure, temp, amp, and uh, the heck is the other one? Oil pressure, temperature, amp, and fuel. So we got a fuel gauge up here and a fuel gauge down there. We have two fuel gauges. <coughs> AM, FM radio, uh, GM style. Uh, Split tri-spoke steering wheel, which would be correct for this model year. It doesn't have a wood uh, rim, but it does have a red uh, vinyl rim, plastic rim, to match the red interior. So you got a red interior in this car. The headliner, the seats, the door panels, the, the, the hat rack, the side panels in the back. Uh, it has wood grain on the side panels in the back and the front. Uh, the seats are nice and, uh, nice and padded and foamy the way they should be. Someone spent a lot of time putting the correct tile. Uh, basket weave type material back on the seats front and rear. It has seat belts in the back, it has seat belts in the front, shoulder belts in the front. Um, original owner's manual still in the glove box. How about that? The uh, window actuators, cranks, are the original ones yet. They still have the uh, um, 
amber colored plastic uh, knobs on them yet which would designate them as original yet the uh, uh, side panels in the back and your door panels are nice and fresh and resilient the door actuators themselves and the chrome on them is the same way just as nice and clean as can be and this dashboard also is nice and clean the lens is just crystal clear uh, everything in this car presents itself as it was when it was new uh, new rubber moldings new seals everywhere uh, the inner part of the door jams in the front are nice and clean. Uh, it does have the console, which I mentioned. And here's the key to the whole operation here. Look at this. Four-speed shifter. Stainless trim around the gas, brake, and clutch, and uh, parking brake cable. Uh, cable Pedals also. Uh, it does have the Astro ventilation uh, still hooked up and functional. This car is just as new as it was back in 72 when it left the plant. This thing is a, an absolute good representation of a 1972 Chevy Nova big block SS car. This is as nice a vehicle as you're ever going to find. It has a set of GM style rubber floor mats in it, front and rear. Um, geez, I don't know what else I can tell you. This, this car is just uh, it's as nice a vehicle as you're ever going to find anywhere. Uh, it's available here at Hangsters. In Daytona Beach, Florida, we encourage everyone to come down and take a look at our merchandise. But if you can't, that's why we do these videos. So if you're in the market for a Nova, we got this one and I think three or four other ones. So uh, I think we got the market covered on Novas right now. So if you don't like this one, you'll probably like one of the other ones we got. We got a couple of Yanko style ones. So take a look at it. It's here at Hangsters. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have. Horn that works. We have, let's try our wipers. Wipers that work. We have turn signal left, just beating itself to death over there, and the right one doing the same thing. They're both doing their act. Uh, we have a fuel gauge that shows completely full and then some, which we know is totally BS because we never have more than an eighth of a tank or a quarter of a tank of fuel in these cars. So that we have to take a look at and find out what the scoop is there. Um, let's see. Um, oh, you know what? There it is. This has a center console with the auxiliary gauges in it. So this gauge here may not function. It shows a half a tank of fuel here, which is probably accurate. Uh, at least more accurate anyway. Uh, amp gauge functioning as it should. Temperature gauge not working, but we just fired this up. I'm sure it will be coming up. Uh, oil pressure uh, nice and high the way it should be. It looks like about 60 pounds, 65 pounds. Uh, radio, we'll try the radio just for sake of discussion. Uh -oh. Okay, radio works. Radio works. Um, I think it's it. Good for rides. Yeah, this guy runs just like it should. It's not jumping around or anything. Uh, it's, it's pulling. The car goes down the road straight as an arrow. Look, no hands. I'm gonna aim it right. No hands, but we're going down the road straight as an arrow. Still no hands. Okay, let's try it. Uh, make sure nobody's behind me. Let's try brakes. No hands. Yep. Ooh, good brakes in this guy. No problem. Nice running car. Real tight. Hair swapping around here. We've got a tight mess. This is irritating. But that's one screw tight. Down. Not a problem. Nice straight running car. Uh, tight as a drum. Uh, there's no shakes or shimmies or squeaks or rattles or anything in it. Um, very, very precise steering. Someone had have to replace the steering box in this with a high resolution box to look. I mean, even a half an inch movement on a steering wheel, you're you're weaving the car. That's not normal for a... Nice shifter too, by the way. It's a Hurst shifter, and uh, it, it has nice positive stops on it. Uh, works just the way it should. Nice and tight, nice precise shifts. Out here today. Clutch 
is nice and positive on it. Uh, it, it it's smooth operation. Again, you know, the steering is very precise. I'm, I'm, this thing has a high resolution steering uh, box in it. There's no way that this car steers like this from the factory. Someone has addressed this through the years. Um, nice tight car. This is one of the nicest, uh, nice padding in the seats. There's nice, uh, goes down the road straight as can be. Feels like it has about a, I don't know, 350 gear in it maybe. Uh, no issues, absolutely none. There's not a squeak, a rattle, a shake, nothing. The speedometer works as it should, turn signals work as they should, goes down the road straight. I, I can't find a single thing wrong with this guy. This is a nice car. This is a car, you, if you're in the market for a uh, Nova, and we've got a bunch of them, um, take a look at this one. This, I believe, is a real SS. This is the way it started life, anyway. Uh, we have no documentation for it, but um, I kind of feel that this one is a real deal. Okay, this is the undercarriage of our big block, four-speed, SS-style Nova. Black car with a red bucket seat interior and a console. Um, <clears throat> Heavy-duty sway bar in the front, new bushings on it, uh, new sway bar uh, links at the end, uh, disc brakes in the front, new calipers, new rotors, new spindles and ball joints on each side also. Someone's replaced the spindle in this guy. Uh, you can see there's no leaks whatsoever on the uh, engine, the 396 engine. Um, conventional starter on it. You see the motor has been out, not within the last couple thousand miles, but fairly recently and completely tanked and redone. Bell housing is uh, all intact with the front shield on it, which is unusual. Most of the time they take these off uh, to let a little air circulate uh, through these, but this is a four-speed guy. M21 Muncie transmission in it, uh, four-speed. Uh, standard cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. Uh, it does have a set of two and a half inch primary tubes coming down into two and an eighth inch pipes going back to the uh, Flowmaster mufflers. I'm jumping all over the place here. Uh, the uh, tie rod ends appear to be fairly fresh. Uh, new shocks in the front. Springs have a lot of uh, compression to them yet. Uh, they're not weak. The uh, subframes in the front, uh, there's no jack marks whatsoever on them, absolutely none, and no deterioration at all. There's no uh, scale or rust or anything prevalent on them at all. Drop downs and the fenders, your fender skirts, uh, a lot of times you'll see marks on them from people trying to jack them up through the years. These are totally intact, they're totally um, undisturbed. The uh, floor pans in this thing are just exemplary. It is. Uh, uh, a car that retains its original floor pans, all its original structure underneath. Uh, your structural pieces that go across from one side to the other on the floor pans are still nice. No one's made any attempt to jack it up on those through the years. Parking brake, still the original parking brake assembly and hardware and uh, also functional on this vehicle. The brake lines. No, they may be original, they may have been replaced. They do have the wire windings across them. They are bent correctly, wire windings in the back. Uh, the uh, fuel line, someone's added a uh, um, filter into the, uh, the fuel line right here. I don't know if there's one on the uh, engine or not. I don't remember when we did the uh, video if there is or not. There is a fuel filter right here, right in the middle of the uh, rocker panel area. Very easy to access if you need to replace it. Uh, again, the floor pans totally, totally 100% original. The pinch well is still evident where the uh, floor pans transition onto the uh, uh, rocker panels. I don't see anything at all in this thing that's uh, a miss. Uh, newer U joint with the Zerk fitting in the front, no leaks whatsoever on the tail shaft. And you can notice also no leaks on the engine, absolutely none. None on the transmission or on the tail shaft or on the speedometer gear where it comes out. Let me check the front here. And nothing in the front on the uh, vibration damper area where your front seal is. There's no leaks there at all. Absolutely none. Here's to bend the, um, the steering box. Uh, uh, Pitman arm, it appears to have been replaced at some point in time. And the idler arm, too. I don't believe they're original. They've been replaced. Uh, drive shaft, uh, I said the uh, Zerk feeding uh, U joint in the front. Um, Back one appears to 
it's not loose or anything. It's just a, it appears to have been there for a while. Um, torque boxes in the front where your front leaf springs mount to. Everything is just as nice and fresh as you'd ever hope to find. And again, no jack marks on your uh, rear subframe sections. Absolutely none. I don't know how they jacked this thing up through the years because there's no marks at all on the front ones you can see. And there's none on the back, so it must have always been on this type of a rack um, through its life. Disc brakes in the front, I did mention that. It had uh, new calipers, and uh, the rotors are nice and fat on them. Drum brakes in the rear with the parking brake hooked up the way it should be. Heavy duty 10 inch bolt and 10 inch bolt. 10 bolt rear uh, uh, differential in this guy with the staggered shocks on it. A shock in the front, shock in the back. Uh, help compensate for that torque bias on this vehicle. The uh, floor pans where they transition up over the uh, <coughs> rear differential and your um, subframes uh, just as nice as you'd ever hope. There's no marks, no deterioration, no rust whatsoever. Original trunk pan still uh, intact in it. Someone's replaced the gas tank at some point of its life. Either that or had it down, cleaned it, uh, tanked it, and then put it back up. One of the two. It would be hard to determine you know, how it was done. It may be a new one though. Uh, let's see. Uh, new belts on it, new strapping for uh, the, the retention of the gas tank also. Drop downs in the quarter panels in the back are the original ones yet and just as sweet as you'd ever hope to find. The uh, floor pan area with the transitional piece of structure that goes across the back is, um, again, no jack marks, no one's uh, done anything to uh, uh, disturb it through the years and the floor pans above the gas tank just as fresh and clean and original as they were when this car was uh, released by GM. Flowmaster mufflers, uh, two and an eighth inch pipes dumping down about a foot behind the uh, rear tires just the way they did. Multi-leaf uh, rear suspension in it too uh, and it, it has a nice curvature to the springs. The springs are uh, and nice and taut yet, you know, they haven't lost their uh, uh, tensile. Uh, someone has replaced part of the uh, brake line back here. It is a new brake line system back here and associated hardware. The flex uh, line that goes to the uh, uh, rear part has been replaced also. Um, again, you can look up through here. Everything is as it should be. Uh, the floor pans are the original pans. There's no question that been no marks whatsoever. I mean, it's really unusual. You don't find even one little tiny mark, and I can't. I don't see a single mark on this uh, substructure anywhere. Drive line, you can see everything is nice and clean. No oil dripping anywhere. Uh, everything is nice and fresh. Uh, this thing is as, as straight a vehicle underneath as you're ever going to find. Um, it's a really neat big block SS style Nova uh, 1972 in a four-speed car too. Power steering. Um, it's a car that you really got to take a look at. It's here at Hangsters, and we're going to go for a ride in it because it'll be my first shot at uh, kicking this thing down and seeing what it runs like.